Ladies and gentlemen, it happened to me and it can happen to you. As of update 237.2, it is now possible for Payday 2 to completely wipe your save data in one fell swoop all at once. Uh, as you're seeing on the screen right here now, I had approximately 1,900 hours wiped in an instant. And the only saving grace on that was the fact that I had backed up my game data two days prior. So instead of losing many, many years of progress, I lost two days. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to back up your saved file for Payday 2. It's going to be quick and easy, and I encourage all of you to do this right now. It's going to take you five minutes, and it's going to save you so much heartbreak. Now just as a preface, this is a Windows Steam guide, so I don't know what the case is for people on Epic Games. Hopefully everything is okay over there, but I'm not entirely sure how it's working. So for your Windows Steam guide, we're going to start by hitting the Windows R key. And that's going to pull up the little run section right here. This is just how I navigate to uh, my local file data. It's You can do it a bunch of different ways, but this is what I found is easiest. You're going to go in there and you're going to type this percent app data percent. Okay, you're going to hit OK on that. It's going to pop up with this folder. So what we're going to do with that, we're actually going to go back to the app data section. So it should look like this. It should have your username, which is blurred out right there, and then app data. We're going to go to local. We're going to scroll down all the way to P till we say Payday 2. We're going to click Payday 2. The most important file is going to be located in saves right here. This should be your Steam ID. This is a public ID number, so don't panic. And what we're going to do, we're going to take everything that's in here, or just the entire file in my case. We're going to copy. So we're going to click it, Control C, or right click and copy. We're going to take that and we're going to put it into a folder on our desktop or somewhere even safer than that, preferably somewhere off of your machine like a Google Drive. And we're going to put it in the PD2 Backups For Real folder. We're going to open that bad boy up and we're going to paste it in there. Okay. What I don't want you to do, I don't want you to drag and drop. That's going to delete it from your initial saves folder. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we're copy pasting. So we're going to take it. We're going to control C and we're going to control V it into here. This file right here, this one here is what saved me all of the heart, the heartbreak of losing my save files. Uh, all I did when I got the deleted notification is I took this file from my backups. It was actually this one, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I took it from the the backup, and I s popped it right back into the saves, and I was good to go. Uh, you'll see here in the clip, I can actually show you that I booted the game right back up, and I was back to the, I believe, 76 infamy levels, just like I had been uh, two days prior to that stream. So that's the most important part right there. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to back up your main save game. So we're going to close out of all that. And we're going to go open up a file explorer. We're going to go into this PC. Now if you've installed Steam somewhere else, it's going to be different for you. Now you're going to go into your C drive, program files 86. You're going to find Steam or wherever your Steam install is located. We're going to go to user data. Now there's going to be a lot of weird numbers here. This is a little tough to find. Uh, mine was in the top folder that started with a one. I'm not entirely sure how this process works. So you might have to do a little bit of searching here in user data, but we're going to click there and we're going to find the one labeled 218620. So once we found 218620, we're going to open that one up. We're just going to take everything out of here. I don't exactly know what you need in here. But we're just going to make, we're going to take the 218620 folder. We're just going to copy that. We're not going to, we're not going to drag it. We don't do that. We're not dragging files here. We're copying and pasting. So you're going to copy that. Just paste it there in your backups. All right. You're all done. Your Payday 2 is now backed up. In the event that your game breaks, you can now just take these backup files and drag them into their normal location after deleting the, the the messed up ones. So if they, if they get corrupted, they'll automatically be deleted. Just take these ones and replace your files and you will be back to the exact moment that you backed up. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, I know it would have been very, very sad for me to lose all of my files. So hopefully this helps somebody out there. Please do this immediately. Um, I, I really don't want to see anybody 
pop by and say, hey, I lost all my save files, I'm never playing this game again. It's a great game, we love playing it, it has some hiccups, this is a really bad one, and this is very unforgivable on the devs' part to have something like this happen, but we gotta move past it, and we gotta just back up our files and just wait until they fix it, so keep your files backed up for right now. Uh, that's all I got for now, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later, I'm just gonna go back to, uh, opening up some files on my desktop.